Illegal immigration last month hit highest level in over a decade. Illegal immigration skyrocketed to the highest level in more than a decade for the month of November, as President Trump's border wall remains unfunded by the Republican-controlled Congress. Last month, illegal immigration at the United States-Mexico border soared to levels that the country has not seen since fiscal year 2014, when more than 51,500 illegal aliens tried to cross the border in April 2015. In November 2018, there were close to 52,000 border crossings on the southern border, alone, marking the highest level of illegal immigration in the month of November since 2006. The continuing rise of illegal immigration at the southern border indicates that fiscal year 2019 will see the biggest boom of illegal immigration in more than a decade, according to Princeton researcher Stephen Coppitz. In total, Coppitz projects that there will be more than 600,000 border crossings next year a level of illegal immigration that the country has not seen since fiscal year 2008, when total southwest border apprehensions exceeded 705,000. This puts illegal immigration under Trump on track to double what border crossings were in fiscal year 2017, when about 310,000 illegal aliens attempted to cross into the U.S. from the southern border. Spiraling illegal immigration to the country is set behind a backdrop of a White House and Department of Homeland Security DHS, Secretary, Kirsten Nielsen, that have yet to convince House and Senate Republicans who only have control of Congress for about a month to fund Trump's central campaign promise, a southern border wall. At the same time of the rising illegal immigration totals, the U.S. is continuing to admit more than a million legal immigrants every year to take American jobs. The mass immigration scheme is a boon to real estate developers, who thrive on the booming populations in major cities, and employers who benefit from a flooded labor market with stagnant U.S. wages and displaced American workers. The country's mass immigration policy also has massive rewards for Democrats, who are set to import between 7 to 8 million new foreign-born voters solely from the process known as chain migration, and overall, an additional 15 million new foreign-born voters.